Cars are coming across the top of the mountain. They're just keeping an eye on Twitter at the moment, and there is the most Bentley tweet I can possibly imagine here. I'm going to read it out verbatim. Let's be clear, staying ahead of Lawrence Frontier is a very tricky thing. We can be sure that Matt Bell Racing will be trying his hardest. Yes. Well done, Bentley. <laughs> there has been a cracking social interaction between the teams, the drivers, the manufacturers, and, of course, you, the audience, across the weekend here and throughout the day here live and free on seven bringing you unrivaled access to the summer classic and the first big australian event in motorsport lights are out this summer the lights are out on the safety car and now matt bell has got to go from cruise mode into qualifying mode with nothing in between when you go to work on a morning you probably have a cup of coffee read the newspaper and chat with your friends there's none of that here. It's straight into it for Matt Bell. He's got to turn it straight on. No warm up, no stretching. Get the brain into gear. Make sure you're ready to go. We are going to green this time around. The AMG Mercedes Benz safety car is gone. Matt Bell, the man from Newcastle, behind the wheel of the Bentley, has Laurent Vantour, the fastest man ever, over the top of the mountain and the fastest time ever recorded by that Audi in second place. We're going to the flag now here on seven, live and free from Bathurst. Mount Panorama delivers again, another nail biting finish and the V8 Bentley starts to rev. We've got the best drivers in the world right here, right now, racing for 2015's first big Australian prize. And Matt Bell defends into Hell Corner for the first time, but he goes a little wide and Vantour tries to do the over and under. He's got a tiny bit of overlap. He's going to try and come Buffalo Gals around the outside. And if he can do that into Griffith's bed, he deserves to win this race. He's pulled alongside. He's nosed ahead. But Bell on the inside surely can hold on. The big Bentley has got to break super late. He's offline though. Can he hold on to it? This is magnificent stuff. And watch the second of the cars behind. That's not in the fight for the lead. But he could get involved in it if they're not careful. That was cool driving by Paul. Carbon copy of 2015, squeeze the car on the outside wide to the kerb and you will have the right of way on the inside line. It is the place to be there, but you've got to go brave and deep up into Griffin's Bend. Great defensive driving by Matt Bell, but Lawrence Vantor has been the fastest driver all weekend, continues to apply the pressure. We go back seven cars to find the Nissan GTR, five cars. Five He's already cars. got two to find the Nissan GTR, but look how good the Audi R8 is across the top. That's been its key strength all weekend long. So I'm looking at Falcon Tyre's elbow for a move from Lawrence Vantor because the, across the top, through the slow stuff and the aero stuff, is where this car has been its strongest. Watch it down here. Key overtaking opportunity down the outside. But Bell defends. Vantor yeah. will have a good run down the straight, and there's nothing between these two in a straight line. Remember what the teammates, the Lauren Vantour, in that Audi was saying. They've lost a bit of top end since it got warmer here. The Bentley seems to gain a bit. And don't forget, Chio San in the 35. He's, he's catching. He is catching. I saw the headlights there in the background. Look stoic. Now just four positions between these two and the third place car. And Matt Bell is doing a lot of defending here. He's trying to get the temps up on the Michelin tyres and get this Bentley back in its operating window. He's already to drivers left coming down into the final corner at Maguire's and all of this is backing the field up and here comes Chio down the inside he's going to be on the back of these guys in another lap and if that the way that's going at the moment he's now only got three cars between him and this battle for the lead into hell corner and up back straight another time now will Matty Bell be able to hold on to it again he takes the slightly defensive line this time Vantour stays behind and in the gap in the air if Matt Bell keeps driving like this Chio is going to be on Correct. This battle for the race lead. He will be there and the Nissan will buy into it and we'll have a three-way fight for the race victory. This time, Vanthor sticks behind the leader. One car, it's that Audi. There he is. J-Mac Pem Racing Audi is in this 
Well, and it's a lapped car. It may be a deciding lapped car. It'll need to let Chio by very, very quickly. And the Nissan GTR has cruised on the leading battle. Slow out of the cutting and a nudge from the Audi. He gave the Bentley a whack there. Slow drive onto the top of the mountain, but it's helped the Bentley, if anything. And there's a car length between the two of them. It's like the old swing by when you're doing the velodrome racing, isn't it? Get you made a little bit further up the road. And for once, there's a bit of clear grey tarmac between the leader and second place man here comes Chio up on that lap Audi look a couple of cars back as they go up the 7U skyline area down into the S's this is as much breathing space as man has had since the restart Stefan Bucket not in the fight at the moment he's uh, another well he's actually caught he's catching up now to Chio and he's only another second further back you know we could have four guys battling for this in half a lap's time but who's going to be quickest down the mountain because all day it's been the Nissan he's right there with that Left car between. If he can pull past that, use that toe, he's going to be right with these two. He's through. Get into the final 10 minutes of this race. It's fingernail biting oh. time, but not those. They're too highly manicured as first, second, and third. The oh, Audi did together. The Audi did the right thing, just pulled to the side, Correct. lifted off, and let the Nissan go. He is in this fight. How hard is Matt Bell driving car 10? You will not see a car more rip limited here comes as that was across the top of Mount Panorama. Here comes Aston Martin too. He's just got two cars between him and the Nissan now. It could be four cars. It's going to be, it's going to be a quartet battling for this 2015 top step. Now is the time to take stock, to breathe in. What have you got left in the fast locker? It's time to open the bottom drawer, take it out and throw it at Mount Panorama. There's no sense in leaving it behind. Munger is two cars back from this triple battle for the lead. Heading up Mount Street one more Chio. time. Here comes Chio in the Nissan. He's going to have to go the long way around. He's almost got the left wheels on the grass as they go to Griffins. I think he's got alongside. He surely can't get through from there, but he'll cut back onto the right-hand side. Man, that Nissan's quick. Watch it down, Conrad straight, because we know the Audi isn't the fastest car in a straight line. No, and remember the patience that Chio showed earlier on going through traffic when he was in third and fourth position. That's gone out the window now. He wants to be at the front because he knows a fast Aston Martin and a fast Aston Martin works driver in Stefan Mucke is coming up the hill. Safety car. Safety car is out. That could Safety be car it. is out. That, that could, could be, be it. it. Oh, we've been robbed. We've been robbed here of a finish. Goodness me, oh, it's the cross, it's the leader, so the leader in Class B. B. Second oh. place in Class B, the Century Batteries GT3 car has been chasing down the 47, the, oh, the other Porsche, and it looks as though he's beached it. Oh, and he's done it on his own as well, trying to take too much speed in. Tires not up two temps, and that car, without a snatch tractor down there, that car is stuck, and... It looks like we may finish this one under full course caution. And Nissan will be cursing their look. They got the break on the last one. The, well, tractor, not... the tractor is already at the car, so they'll get that pulled out very, very, very quickly. Is the yellow flags here? Yes. Because these guys are still racing, are they? No, no, they're no, fine. No, the yellow flags are out. The Thank you. The marshals are running to that car. We may yet get this back to green. Yeah, the snatch tractor is already there. This is marvellous stuff. They were at the back of the race control. The race, race control will do everything in their power to have this race finish mm. under green, even if it is a one lap dash to the flag. Oh my go goodness me, that is going to be carnage. If it is a one lap dash to the flag, on what odds a Nissan victory? Oh. You just get the feeling there's something special left in car 35. Leaders across the line. They'll be picked up by the Mercedes-Benz safety car. The Grove car will be out of the sand trap in 35 seconds. It may just be this one lap under safety car. There are still seven minutes and 55 seconds Trilzy. on the race clock. I was going to say, did the safety car actually come out? It has done. Um, but it, there's nothing to say that it can't go straight in at the end of... No, absolutely no, not. No, no. And the guys are working like Trojans down at Maguire's corner at Murray's, the final corner. And it's Matt Bell is going to have to do it all again. It's on the move. Porsche is on the move. This helps Matt Bell. I'm convinced this helps Matt Bell. Really? It's one or two less laps. He has to defend. The well, safety car is doing his defence for him because Lawrence Vantor cannot pass while they're under yellow. Oh, brilliant stuff from the marshals. That and you know what? Away again. They, they haven't even pulled him out of the way. They're going to give him the opportunity to drive on if he can. Get it going. And the Grove car is out and away. 
and being told to get off the circuit. And what they're doing there is getting rid of all the rubbish from underneath the car before he rejoins. That is such smart officiating and driving. 6.55 to go. On the left-hand left side, Matt Bell in the Bentley. On the right-hand side Gio. is the Chio monster, Third. as we're going to be calling him now. Third place in the middle of the pair of them is Laurent Van Dutch. Stefan Muck, at two cars further back, has Jacques Leblanc and Andrea Montermini right behind him. The problem for Montermini is he's a lap off the lead, but we've got the five lead lap cars within about three seconds. Which equals a record set last year. Five cars on the lead lap at the end of last year's race was a race record. So we've done that again. And at the same time, it's Bentley, Audi, Nissan, Aston Martin, Mercedes, five different brands fighting for the Liquimoli Bathurst Torba. There's a Ferrari in sixth. There's a Lamborghini in seventh. There's seven different brands in the top seven of the nine represented in the outright GT3 class. Six I give, minutes on the clock, John. Six I, minutes on the clock. I give you six minutes, seven different manufacturers and variety aplenty at the 2015 Liquid Molly Bathurst 12 hours, live and free on seven and through to the chequered flag and from race control right. we're going this time around brilliant officiating bad sportsmanship flag was shown just before the safety car to matt bell for excessive blocking where we believe which is what they usually show it for okay uh, I, th I would have thought gloves are off with five and a bit minutes to go don't worry about that matt you drive that thing on the inside white line if you have to we think two laps it's five uh, 48 plus one lap for the leader. It's currently 5.44 local Australian Eastern Lights Daylight Saving Time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in the country, around the world, there is no better place to be than in front of the Channel 7 feet to watch the final throw of the 2015 Liquid Molly Bathurst 12 hours. Is this not the best place in the world? Mount Panorama, time and time and time again, delivers amazing motor racing. Four and a bit minutes to go. Seven brands in the top seven, five fighting for victory after 12 of the most brutal hours you will ever see at this place. And three line astern as they come to what we hope will be the final green flag. Let's keep this green. Let's see this one. Guy Smith, they will green never flag. have seen anything like this. It's an honour and a privilege to be trackside now and calling this one for you as Matt Bell has to do it all again. The green flag waving, but it's Matt Bell who's con trawling the pace of the field. Now take a deep breath, suck it up fellas, because you've got five minutes, four minutes and eight seconds to do. Don't take a breath. Oh, she has gone through. Brilliant oh. piece of timing. If that starts, it's brilliant. And he's up in the second place. I don't think there was an overlap on the line. And he's gonna go for the lead through Hell Corner. He's already in the slipstream of the big Bentley. The two biggest, widest, meanest, hairiest cars are going head to head on the mountain street. This is astonishing stuff from Chio san the fiery young Japanese driver he's goes so to the lead. That is remarkable. He's done two of them and not a Griffin corner yet. 3.36 on the clock and Nissan leads on the mountain. The GTR Godzilla has eaten the field to now and they are back with a vengeance. Absolutely astonishing stuff. That was perfectly timed from Chio as across the line. He absolutely blasted by the Audis who went down to turn one and did the same again in turn three to the Bentley. Amazing stuff. Can he keep it together? Military settings on the Nissan now. It's pedal to the metal and he's pulled out five, six, ten cars lengths as he goes across. We can hear the spectators <laughs> clapping as he goes across. This is going to be a famous Van victory. Van Tour for second place on the big Bentley who has hung out for so long. Matt Bell will be desperate to hold on to this one, I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it down Conrad Street. Mantle will drive underneath the Bentley if he has to. He's got the fastest car here. Absolutely on the limit, down into the elbow and squeezes him wide. And they'll drag race down Conrad Street. Not quite. Bell holds on. And the big Bentley is doing the business in the fight for the podium. There's going to be another lap, maybe another two here, guys. Look at the time, 2.24. 
It's going to be close to whether they do one more after this, and it'll all be down to when Gio crosses the line. The blue it's flag's gone. been weird. The oh, has gone. The Bentley locking up there, or was it some fluid coming out the back? There was certainly something on the back wheels. I think that was a touch, a touch earlier. At the top of Conrad straight from the Audi on the back of the Bentley, I think we've got some touching bodywork there. Coming round with two or three, two or two. This is going to be it. It's 48 on the clock, plus one lap. And the white flag is out, or it would be if we were in the US. One more to go down to the first corner, and watch out for the battle further down as well. Watch because out for Mocker, John. He's yeah. catching the Audi for third position. Yeah, he's holding him in in the last lap, and Vantor just doesn't quite have the ultimate pace he had last time. A minute 37 on the clock will confirm 100% if this is the last lap. But Chio is driving up the road. The Nissan GTR, it won here in 91, it won here in 92, has not touched the podium since then. Somewhere in the world, Darren Cox, the boss of motorsport for Nissan, will be having kittens. It's 6.48 in the morning in the UK. DC's just closed on his new house. He's celebrating that. He's celebrating an LMP1 program. And in about a lapse time, he will be celebrating a victory here. The GT Academy graduates with Chio have pulled off a remarkable masterstroke. Rob, Bob Neville and RGN with the Nismo Global Athlete Team have put it to the best in the world. They've taken on the mountain. They've beaten them all. And at the moment, it's Chio by a couple of seconds and then the battle for second, third and fourth. There's two more steps on the podium and it's musical chairs here. And when the music stops, some one of these three Whoa. is going to be left without a sit. That is it's huge. Lantor. It's come round the outside. Vantor has come around the corner and almost got it. And here comes Mucker. Mucker is right in the slipstream oh, as well. This is it's astonishing. For the final spot on the podium, Stefan Mucker drives oh. the Aston Martin round the Audi R8 down Conrad Strait. He's in the top of the Bentley. It's helped him get by in the Aston's third. Final lap. Leader is on the last lap. Vantor comes for a huge long way back into the mission of Jersey. He tries to go around the inside. Chio's ahead of all this and is going to win for this ball. But who's going to be second, third, and fourth? There's still one big breaking area to come. Once again, Bathurst delivers a great finish. And it's a Nismo GTR that wins it for Nissan. Chio wins it. Second, third, and fourth across the line. Bell got to fourth right at the last turn. The Audi finishes the race second place. And then the, the, the Aston Martin comes home third. Matt Bell lost all his momentum in the final turn. He went wide coming out of the final corner. That is remarkable stuff. And that is a popular victory from the 32 odd thousand people who've been here this weekend. And the Nismo flags are out in pit lane. And an Am class car wins overall. And Shea Adam is down in the pit lane. There's a lot of smiling GT Academy graduates there, Shea. Florian, this is simply amazing. Two years ago, you weren't even racing, and now you've won the 12 Hours of Bathurst. Congratulations. Yeah, it's like, I almost can't believe it. I really, she would have put uh, just the hammer down and uh, after the last safety car, and he was immediately at the back of the other cars in front, and I just, uh, I can't almost breathe, you know, it's, it's hot. We were uh, a little bit disappointed to be in third at this point and so far away. Thank you very much. And yeah, it's, it's just amazing, you know, I think nobody of us would expect to win here, but yeah, it just feels amazing and um, I think we have a big celebration tonight. I think it's well deserved and Darren Cox is going to be very, very proud of you and Wolfie and Chiu. Congratulations to Alex and Gemma for the newborn child, oh. really proud of and I hope, yeah, I'm pretty lucky, you know, in the end it worked out and unfortunately Alex couldn't do any better, so we're first, that's good. So yeah, yeah. we'll just celebrate tonight, thank you very much. Well done. Oh, I, think, I think young Austin might be getting another name, Chio. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been woken up earlier than uh, he would normally get up, I think. Contact on the final corner for Matt Bell, pushed down to fourth position. Godzilla wins on the mountain. This is a huge year for Nismo globally with the launch of their LMP1 GTR Challenger. And they have not deserted the rest of motorsport and they stay true to their roots with the GTR coming back and the GT3 version taking a huge win here. We said back on lap 245 when Craft Bamboo Racing put Stefan Mooker in that car, watch out for the Aston Martin. Didn't he deliver? Wow. 
that he came from the clouds to finish third. And that is truly a remarkable finish at this place again. Well, two young men there, uh, both graduates of the GT Academy, the Nissan GT Academy, both computer gamers, now full professional race drivers, both played a full part but the final knock oh, to that race. Katsumasa Chio, that was extraordinary stuff. Yes, mate. 269 laps, 100, well, 1,671 kilometres completed today. By no means a record. In fact, it's only one lap further than the shortest ever GT Bathurst 12 hour, but who cares? Let's be honest, that was the most remarkable of finishes again. Gorgila, king of the mountain once again. The GTR is back. How do you write that down? Unbelievable stuff. 12 hours elapsed and a wee bit more and a big outpouring of breath from Chio. Let's have a look again. And there you can quite clearly see that was a clear restart. There was no overlap on the line there for the Nissan. They'll be looking at that carefully. And Chio already threw into second and then tried to go through into the lead and did it. The Maguire's replay shows it well. We've talked up the straight line speed all day long. I really need to see what happened in that final corner for second and third, though. For a moment there, it looked like the Audi might have fallen off the road as well. But uh, uh, as it was, Van Thor got home in second, which is an amazing result for that team that has been the fastest car all weekend and probably one of the strongest too. And we would not have had that finish. We would not have had that excitement had the race officials and the hardworking marshals got the Porsche out of the gravel on the final corner. Gentlemen and ladies, we salute your work this weekend. You have given us the end to this motor race that it richly deserved. And Kat, Katsubasa Chio is the man in the car at the end who will take the plaudits in the Darrell Lee overall, winning the AM class, winning the Pro class. Lauren Vantu and the rest of the 15 Phoenix Racing Audi team ahead of Aston Martin Vantage. Also in the Pro category, Stefan Mucker bringing that one home. And third in the AP, fourth and perhaps the unluckiest place to be, just off the overall podium, Matt Bell and the M Sport Bentley team. What a result for Erebus. They rolled the dice early. Jack LeBrock coming home in sixth position. Second in the AM category for the 49 squad and Andrea Montermini and third in that uh, arms category by the way in 10th position chris meese in the number nine audi do you think bentley will be back after finishing fourth at mount panorama oh yeah do they have something to prove now they led this race what and about the, the final restart let's have a look at the other categories as well because there were other races uh, out there in the classes just we'll confirming john seven different brands inside the top seven Nissan, Audi, Aston Martin, Bentley, Mercedes, Ferrari, Lamborghini, then another Ferrari and two Audis rounding out the top 10. Phoenix Racing get two cars home inside the 10. The class winners, we know the uh, Class A Pro and Class A Amateur uh, winners. Class B, well done, Team Superbarn Supermarkets with Marcus Marshall, James and Theo Kondouris and Sam Power. They win the Century Batteries Porsche GT3 Cup cars. The Donut King Nissan got there in Ridges Class C. Tony Alford squad got there. Uh, the Berry Linton entry, the BMW 1 Series uh, 1M Coupe in GWS Personnel Class D. And the Mark Focus that has been the class of the Recaro Invitationals took it home. Car number 93, Gary Jacobson at the wheel towards the end. Did an outstanding job.